Llama Llama, red pajama, feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama, red pajama, calls down to his Llama Mama. Mama says she'll be up soon. Baby Llama hums a tune. <laughs> llama Llama, red pajama, waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby Llama starts to fret. Llama Llama, red pajama, whimpers softly for his mama. Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Llama Llama, red pajama, listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts mooing. <laughs> llama Llama, red pajama, hollers loudly for his mama. Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Llama Llama, red pajama, in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. What if Mama Llama's gone? Llama Llama, red pajama, weeping, weeping for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run! <gasps> Look, Mama Llama drops the phone and she's running upstairs. She comes in the door. <gasps> Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes Mama's very busy. Please stop all this llama drama and be patient with your mama. Little llama, don't you know? Mama llama loves you so. Mama llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Llama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles pillow soft and deep. Baby Llama goes to sleep. I hope you like that book. I've always liked that book. You know what? God is like Mama Llama in that story. He is always here and he always loves us. Even if we can't see him, he's still with us and he still loves us. Let's see. Can you sing that song again with me? Here we go. Ready? God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. You know what? This reminds me of another book, a story that's actually found in the Bible. I'm going to use this one because it has pictures, but this story is actually written in the Bible and it really happened. It's about a man named Joseph. Joseph. Let's see what happened to Joseph. Little Joseph was a shepherd boy whose wonderful dreams brought him great joy. Joseph's father loved his son. Young Joseph was his favorite one. He gave Joseph a coat so bright, it shimmered with colors that danced in the light. His brothers were jealous, and so one day they took little Joseph and sent him away. As a slave to Potiphar, Joseph was sold. The boy is dead, his father was told. Don't worry, he's not really dead. Okay. Joseph was hurt by his brother's schemes, but God gave him the power to understand dreams. He explained the strange dream that the Pharaoh had. We must store food for when times get bad. Pharaoh put Joseph in charge of the grain. That's what we make uh, bread and rice out of, all those things. 
so no one in Egypt would go hungry again. Joseph's brothers came to buy food one day and saw the brother that they had sent away. Joseph forgave them and let them eat, saying, God's plan is now complete. You know, some people here, when they were getting really hungry and there was going to be no food, they were worried about what would happen next. And I bet when Joseph's brother sent him away, Joseph was worried, wondering what was going to happen next. But you know what? God provided for them. God took care of them and gave them everything that they needed. God takes care of us. You know, I kind of want to draw that wonderful coat of Joseph's with all the pretty colors. Let me show you how you can do that. I'm going to put my blocks away. Let's see. And I'll put my grapes back in here for later. And I'm going to get out my paper and my markers. If you have an adult at home that can help you, it's really easy. They can draw you an outline. You ready? We're going to draw a really fat T like this. Here we go. Drawing my T. Okay, so that's the coat. Now I'm going to put his head on top. I'm just going to draw a big circle on top. And that's his head. And if I want to get fancy, I can add some little circles for his hands. I can add some hair. And I can add a line down the middle for his coat. So if I want to get fancy, I can go like this. But now it's ready for me to add the colors. That's my favorite part. You'll need all different kinds of colors for this. I've got some blues and reds and yellows and orange and pink and green. And I'm going to color that later. But first, I'm going to say goodbye. Whoops, my markers fell. Would you pray with me before we go? Fold your hands and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God. Lord, thank you that you take good care of us. Thank you for food to eat, for a family, and for a house to live in. We ask that you would continue to take care of us. Thank you that you love us. Amen. Let's sing one more time before we say goodbye. Ready? God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. Remember that I love you and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, Dad, your tea's ready. Good boy. Good. <laughs> You're so